When a health emergency occurred, communications could become extremely vital. Usually, the dissemination of information to the public that are beneficial for decision making, positive behavioral change, and maintenance of trust are considered primarily as risk communication. The range of risks is vast, and it does not only include health emergencies. Dangers such as severe weather, chemical or radiation exposures, bioterrorism are also considered as risks. Risk communication is a social approach, which means it involves the general public and the media. It is recognized to be the two-way and multi-directional communications and engagement with affected population. In another word, it has to be interactive. Both the authorities and the public, mainstream and social media, have to participate in risk communication to make sure the information comes from all angles of the society and show different perspectives. Let's look at a real example: the COVID-19. A pandemic that has dramatically influenced the world. Risk communication during COVID-19 includes spreading news, publishing official statements and coping strategies, sharing medical conditions, giving clear death numbers, and so on. The goal is to inform people of the features, symptoms, prevention strategies, death rate, to help people make decisions that could save lives during the pandemic. Also, voices from frontline medical workers, reporters, and citizens are extremely essential because experts and officials do not always report the most detailed and urgent information. Many hospitals across the globe are having difficulties gathering medical resources, and frontline medical workers' communication with the public is extremely important under such circumstances. Social media with contents demonstrating travel information, new cases, supplies, and crimes during the pandemics are also important for the decision making of individuals. The two-way communication is very important, as we could imagine in the COVID-19 case. The authorities cannot always make sure to deliver the correct information or raising enough public awareness, and the experts usually only give the most general suggestions about what to do during the pandemics, such as wash your hands, stay at home. More detailed and helpful coping strategies for specific groups are often found in their own communities. For instance, for international students, when and how to get back to their hometowns can only be found in their peer social media posts and chat groups. They also remind each other of possible hate crimes and discrimination during this particular period, and unite together to protect their communities. Different people have different perceptions of risk. The one-way, generic, non-contextual information dissemination of risk can be dangerous and counterproductive. Experts judge the situation in terms of quantitative assignments of morbidity, mortality, and financial costs. While the public judge risks with complex psychological and cognitive process. For example, when many governments decide not to test patients who have mild symptoms, they might be afraid of the financial costs of exposing a great deal of cases and provoking public rage and fear. While some individuals decide to wear masks at an early stage, others might not think those are necessary due to cultural and cognitive differences. Authority heuristics occurs when someone believes in the opinion of a person of authority. Such as religious leaders, blindly trusting such figures could be dangerous and cause the expansion of infection or resulting individuals to apply lethal treatments. In risk communication, trusting in the right sources is important for overcoming the dangers we're facing, and the successful risk communication to the public relies heavily on public confidence in government agencies. Cooperation between individuals, organizations, and countries are necessary. As individuals, we should learn to distinguish credible sources online to gain the most relevant, trustworthy, and helpful messages. Do not trust sources that are overly emotional, stereotypical, provocative, poorly founded, or speculative. Stay as neutral as possible from political dramas during this particular crisis, and do the best we can to protect ourselves and others.